So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload the course on Skillshare step by step. Coming up. So hello there, my name is Nick Nixon. I'm full-time online entrepreneur, online instructor and the streamer. And in this video, I'm going to show you and exactly show you on the computer how you can upload the course on Skillshare step by step. I assume that you already have some course or actually have some ideas for the course and want to see the technical sides of uploading the course on Skillshare. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is the website for an online course which is based on subscription. So meaning that you subscribe for the website, you pay the subscription fee for the website and that's it. You have an access to all of the courses available on the website which is a very, very, very extensive Intensive. And for the instructors, it is very good because you are getting paid for your courses while they're being watched. It's like paying the, like almost the same as paying for the YouTube. It sounds the same. It's not the same, but it sounds the same paying for the YouTube views. But here you're actually being paid for the watch time because there are no ads on Skillshare. So you're just being paid for the watch time. It, it can be very beneficial for you as a side income probably at first and then it may probably transform into full income for you in the future so i'm just gonna jump right into the computer and show you how the course uploading on skillshare is actually done and spoiler alert it is very simple so here we are on uh, the skillshare as you can see i'm logged in to my account like this is my account right here i'm not just gonna uh, this is like i'm gonna show you just right uh, just for uh, the understanding yeah this is my account this is my students and my courses and everything uh by the way this is on the new dashboard like on the new skillshare like the rebranded skillshare so if you Look like you probably should see exactly or write what I'm seeing right here. I'm not. I'm not gonna go through the process of registration on the Skillshare because you don't need a separate instructor account for the Skillshare to be an instructor. You just can uh, use your uh, regular uh, student uh, like account if you have one or just uh, register it. It's extremely simple. You don't need actually to go through the process of registration as an instructor, unlike. Udemy uh, that I'm going to talk about in uh, the other video and all you need to do is just go to the teach tab right here press teach tab and just press create class it's a very 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 simple thing I just all you need to do is just create a class and that, that's what well, that's what you have I'm gonna press start the class and just gonna open uh, uh, this window right here so as you can see you have only two tabs for your class there's a video lesson and the class info this is the thing that you need to fill uh, your videos with so it is very 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 simple and straightforward it just shows you everything that you will need uh, to uh, learn so as you can see here it shows you that uh, the Skillshare class coverage all from 20 to 60 minutes which is actually a very very good length for uh, the courses on the Skillshare and the classes are each two to five minutes and the minimum class that you can minimum course that you can up upload is at least 10 minutes long so you cannot have it less than 10 minutes because it will not publish itself and there is very very important thing that you need to uh, understand because usually skillshare does not blocks you from doing that but if you do that you're gonna get your course blocked your your class blocked permanently and this is teacher may upload our own maximum one class per week so meaning that if you upload two classes per week like in just few days you're gonna get both of your classes blocked and it, it may not it may be blocked permanently uh unfortunately uh they uh, unfortunately i did this as a very beginner like just a few month, months back when i started it on skillshare and my class actually got blocked and i uh, got into contact with the skillshare it looked very very tedious process again but thankfully uh, one of the moderators that got in touch with me was very helpful. Uh, she, I, I think it was she or he. I don't. I don't remember to be fair. Uh, this person was very, very helpful, and uh, let's assume it's she. I don't know. She, she helped me a lot uh, with the class. She actually you know, unlocked all my classes and told me the things to I, I need to fix, and I did that. And thankfully, my classes were both up and running. 
and uh, yeah this this is all that you need to understand about the video lessons let's go and press upload videos i'm just gonna press upload videos and just i'm gonna upload like th th this is like one of the videos i'm just gonna assume uh and i'm just gonna choose one of the videos i don't know like uh i'm gonna choose uh, let's say online income essentials maybe and i'm gonna press in my courses and go work one of the classes to show you just actually how it works i'm just gonna press the video and as you can see it will start uploading the course by itself like as you can see just it, it went to the upload and you can change the name of the class right here and by the way you can bulk upload the classes but for some reason even if you upload like put a 10 videos at the same time or any amount of videos it will only upload three videos at the same time like it will upload three and the one of them will be done like it will add another one etc so it can be only three at the same time and as you can see depending on your internet speed upload will take uh, different times another thing that is very important is like when you upload uh, the different amount of classes like a few classes the uh queue and uh the which classes are coming first in the upload right here in the video lessons tab will determine where they will uh show your classes so meaning that the classes that are up will be the first classes etc etc the down will be the second one and the third the fourth and fifth like the queue and uh the uh like numbering of the classes are very 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 important so pay attention to that you can act, you can actually fix that in the future but you uh need to just you don't want to have massive class from the very beginning plus the one thing that skillshare is is not actually teaching you how to do that uh from right away uh, that it, it is the having the thumbnail of the class by the way if you just press this one right here and just choose the thumbnail the first thumbnail the first class that you have uh the first video thumbnail that you have will be the thumbnail of the course itself i'm just gonna press cancel because i don't want this to be uploaded the first video with the thumbnail will be the thumbnail of the course you don't need to have change the thumbnails for any other videos you need to change thumbnail only for the first video only one video that's it first video only this one you don't need to change thumbnails for any other videos uh but it's weird that you have an option to change that but they don't do anything uh, only the first video does stuff uh for you so when you upload the videos you're actually done with the video uploading you by the way you can change the class you need to change the class name as well but just always press save draft and do not publish until you are done because when you publish the class you cannot unpublish it this is the very bad thing about the skillshare very very bad thing if you'll upload the class on the Skillshare, if you'll up publish the class on Skillshare, you cannot unpublish it. Even if you're not happy with the class, even if you think that, oh, I don't want this class to be available, you cannot unpublish it. This is a very bad thing. I'm not sure I think you can delete the videos, but you cannot unpublish the class itself, which is, which is very, very bad thing because... I don't know skillshare just leaves the ability to like do whatever they want with your classes i guess but whatever and one thing as well that you need to read very well is read all the helpful resources go through all of this because they have some guidelines plus you need to go the teaching the teacher's handbook right here teaching academy go through this ones as well because there are things that you cannot do in your classes like uh promotes uh, some services you cannot talk about the competitors uh you cannot talk about making money you cannot promise uh the results etc et for example well if you create the class about instagram and you'll say that, oh with this class when you're done with the class you can have thousand followers per week per month per year i don't know whatever you want to say you cannot say that you are basically forbidden to say that you cannot do that and like skillshare is forbidding you this to say that and they will just block your class and eat may not go up ever again depending on which kind of moderator you'll meet which is very very sad thing to happen so be very careful with that be very 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 careful with that so now next thing that you will need to go through which is very very important is class info and this is where all you will fill up all the information about your class you're just gonna go through everything and fill it up you can have a class title just don't promise anything in the class uh title just tell whatever it is whatever you're teaching 
if you are teaching like again getting like followers on instagram don't say it oh gain million followers in a week don't write the, the class title okay you should just name it how to gain followers on instagram if you give name it like that then no problem don't promise anything just say how to do this how to do that uh, like following gaining instagram followers fast you're not promising anything but it's just just a statement that you're gonna teach how to gain them fast you're not promising any numbers etc etc be as vague as possible and just be as specific as possible at the same time i know it can can sound very intimidating and very weird but yeah skillshare can be very very weird go into the class description explain everything about your class in a class description be as thorough as possible because uh, Skillshare actually uses SEO as you can see there is a search engine right here it, it uses SEO and SEO works you use a lot of keywords a lot of explanation a lot of details <laughs> try to use everything that you can inside the class description which is very very important make it look as beautiful as possible just to as appealing as possible just don't overdo it don't overdo it you don't need to like, fill out uh, your class with a bunch of keywords that that's like in, in tags or etc etc just use them as in your description and last but not least in the like things that you need to fill out is of course the class project this is a, a difference between um, one of the biggest differences between maybe udemy and skillshare because you actually will need to issue class project in the last video or you can issue the class project in uh, the different videos as well but uh, probably the best uh, place will be to issue it in the last video so you're what you're basically doing is just giving assignment to your uh, students to do some stuff and they can just uh, do this assignment and put them in the class project tab of your course and other people will see whatever the, your students are doing i'm issuing actually uh, the class project in all of my classes but people usually are not that active on uh, the things that i teach but if you're teaching something creative let's say drawing or just doing some like, photoshop stuff or something like that that there that is very creative in its nature the people are gonna do a lot of a lot of a lot of different class projects so if you not put a class project it may be the reason for the closing of your class so just please do a class project be very specific don't do just very vague thing like oh do something like something something and just do not even give uh, give it to details or something like that go and be very specific with the class project now with the category as categories and subcategories in skillshare it's just awful I'm just gonna say it right away. It's awful. Like there's business, creative, lifestyle, and technology. That's it. You need to somehow fit all this all into the, uh, this one. Like it will go to the business. It will show different subcategories. Just trying to fit whatever thing that you're doing into here. I don't know. Like for my case, I don't know. I'll go with it. If, if I'll do a course about live streaming, work should I put? Is it in technology? Like yeah, yes. If it's in technology, there is nothing here about this. If it's in creative, maybe film and video let's say about the if i'm doing on a streaming just try to be uh, like try to find the best subcategory for you class type is there are only two class types there's free and premium so free is well free meaning that anyone uh, on skillshare can find and watch your class uh despite them having premium subscription or not so if you're doing the free you are not gaining any money but probably you're gaining a lot a lot of views so if you're doing your skillshare uh class as a promotion for the anything that you do i don't know like some kind of promotion to the other classes then yes you can do as a free but even but you're forbidden to do promotions in your classes so it's actually a very weird spot probably if you can do a free class if you want the let's say the promotion of personal brand so so for you people to know you and people to find out about you maybe they will search for you etc etc i don't know you can try use free classes i never done it uh, i probably will do uh, this someday i will do upload a few free classes on skillshare um i don't know maybe this will something like this video i will upload there and just uh, see 
what will happen, see how it will work, I don't know, uh, but if you want to make money from the Skillshare, you absolutely need to go with the premium. By the way, uh, despite have, of what you having a premium, first class of uh, your course, first video of your course will always be free. First video is always free, no matter what you do, like first video will always be free. And just if you don't do the one video class and call it premium because it doesn't because you're not gonna make any money from this because first video is always 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 free and just choose premium if you want to make uh, money from the Skillshare as for the level you can have a four different levels beginner intermediate advanced and all levels uh, just use it properly whatever you're doing if you think this for very beginners go for the beginner if you think it's intermediate then use intermediate if you want advanced again advanced if you think that everyone can use the stuff that you do go with an all levels as for the class skills class skills is a very very weird tab that kind of broken and does not work properly for me uh class skills is something like tags like for example like i can use a open broadcaster or something like that but open broadcaster and as you can see it's in the class it just shows you the, as a tag it's basically tags and like if i use obs and create a tag obs it will do but if i continue open it didn't work in the future in the, in the past broadcaster broadcaster create a tag uh, as you can see, I, when I pressed open broadcaster, it just didn't show me anything, which is weird, like very, very weird. Class skills are very, very weird stuff. The thing that works sometimes or sometimes doesn't work, just try to feel it if you can. As you can see, it shows me now open broadcaster. Now it added it. I don't know, like the things that are done in the Skillshare, it's, it's not explained very, very well. So just be careful just fill it up uh, with the things that you can fill it up use it as a tags and this this will be it as you can see the uploading on skillshare is not very difficult but you need to be very 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 careful with the things that you upload because walking uh, skill uploading on skillshare is like walking on a minefield and just be very careful with the courses so as you see uploading the course on skillshare is pretty simple pretty straightforward there's nothing complicated there is no like smart things that you need think you need to uh, think about there are some some things that you need to understand you need to know to do like again the course cover etc etc but still you, you you just will find out it's a very very simple way just be very very careful careful on the course videos and description because skillshare moderators are just very very brutal they don't care uh, like majority of the uh, moderators i'm not talking about all of them because i've heard from some of the moderators that they, they are very 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 helpful but the majority of them are just just hammering you down like just do not care about what you do do not care if you know something do not care if you don't know something you're just gonna block your course right away and you cannot do nothing about it you cannot even delete your course from the skills here which is very very important thing to remember just be very mindful of that and follow the guidelines of the skillshare and you will probably be all right just again be extra 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 cautious on skillshare so this was it for today i hope you liked the video like if you liked it if you liked it subscribe if you want more videos like this one like most simplish uh videos and i'm gonna see you in the next video see ya